with Rasa the Dancer. And today I will give you my top favorite healthy dishes that I like to eat. Um, of course, <laughs> I eat more than five things in my life, but these are my top five uh, favorite healthy dishes that I could eat all the time and I never get bored and they're also very healthy. Also, it would make me so so happy if you subscribe to my channel. And now, let's start! My dish number one is tuna salad. Um, I love anything fish. Um, I um, grew up in Lithuania and we are huge meat eaters, but we also eat a lot of fish. Um, so I grew up a meat eater, but recently, and when I say recently, about five years now, I've never been choosing meat as a priority. Um, I've always, if I have an opportunity, I choose fish. And um, I don't know, I tried a few times to be vegan as well unsuccessfully of course <laughs> but maybe there'll come a time when I try again but I really enjoy my fish so tuna salad for me is an amazing option tuna is a good protein it's healthy for you and salad of course is healthy now the reason tuna salad is so awesome because you can make it any kind of way you can actually put in the oven some vegetables and them and then chop them and actually it's a warm salad then or you can just do raw um, basic uh, salad products and it's a normal salad. You put olive oil on it and it's, it's, it gives you a little bit of like a sauce taste. Uh, but if you fry things in the oven, in, in the oven, not on the pan, then it's, it has its own juices. So you don't actually need a sauce. And there's so many options. If you need a heartier meal, you can put some cheese in it. If you need something lighter, you take it out. Um, it's just so many things you can put in a salad. So it's always cool. And like, if I really want to have like a proper meal and I feel like salad might not be enough, I might even boil a potato and chop some boiled potatoes in the salad and it becomes hardier. So, so many things you can put in a salad. So tuna salad is my go-to. I never get bored of it because I mix it up so often, but I absolutely love it. Okay, so dish number two, <laughs> surprise, surprise, is a fish again. <laughs> and that's oven made salmon. Now, I make an awesome salmon, uh, maybe because I make it so often. Um, but if you, if you take any piece of salmon and you put it in the oven, you just can't go wrong. You salt it a little bit and that's it. And it's so healthy and it's always delicious. And then by like a side next to the fish, I might have asparagus or broccoli or some sort of other salad or brown rice if I again need a more substantial meal but overall the meal is the salmon and sometimes I put the um, salmon in the oven and I chop it in small pieces and I actually make a salad <laughs> so it's you can't go wrong with, with that and it's always always delicious so that's my go-to number two number three soups <laughs> and when i say soups i mean any soups i joke with my mother i always say i could live on soups my soups are not the same as maybe some other people's soups um my soups are full of everything so usually um if i'm making a meat soup so i would get maybe um some ribs I boil the ribs first and then I add potato, boiled potato, then there's going to be sweet potato, then there's going to be onion, then there's going to be carrot, maybe some other root vegetables in it, um, loads of spices, loads of greens, and it becomes like a hearty soup and it has meat inside. So it's actually like a main and I make like loads, like big pots, and I just eat it for two days. <laughs> I don't get bored. I love it and the soup is hot so it always makes your inside feel nice um, it's just fantastic and it's it's super healthy because you boil everything there's nothing fried um, you can have a soup from anything if you don't eat meat you can do a fish soup same principle you buy big fishes not fillets fishes 
You put it in a pot, you boil it so the stock is amazing. And then you just boil vegetables in it and it's just delicious. Again, super healthy, gonna last you the whole day or maybe two. And it's just really, really nice. But I do like soups from many different ways. And again, Lithuanian culture. So we have beetroot soup, we have like sour soups, we have cold soups, we have, I mean, you name it, there is a soup. <laughs> and it always has, whether meats inside, fish inside, sometimes vegetable soup, I mean, everything. Chicken soup, oh my God, I make the most amazing chicken soup. From chicken thighs, it's incredible. <laughs> Do you wanna come over? I'll make you some chicken soup. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you want to come to my house and eat my soup. <laughs>